right, folks, we're back going to work. My son, when he left out of here, spun mud all over my paint job on my unit crane. I think first thing when I do, I'm going to get back with this crane is make him wash it. Okay, so we're here with the housing and the gear, and we're going to get ready to start putting things together. But first thing I do is get all that clean because uh, it's got a bunch of pieces of brass and bronze, nothing like that other did, the rest of it did, but we'll get this all cleaned up really well and scrubbed and get ready for the assembly process, which uh, shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't take too long. And Scott will be here a little later to give us a hand, which is a good thing because uh, that housing is going to be rough to get back up in there. Uh, I wish that this hood was longer because I could just put my come along there and <clears throat> be able to operate it to get that. But that panel was made on there, bolted on there all the way across, I guess. So I believe it is anyway. So makes it rough to get that up in there but we're going to get it one way or the other uh, if we can get it up on and get it on the gear we can get a pry bar in here pry up on it and set it in it's just got a little lip but you sort of have to put the bronze gear on but not slide it all the way over and then get everything up in and in place and then when once it meshes and everything then you slide both pieces over and that's the only way we're going to be able to get it in there so anyway uh, let's get at it and see what we can get done Okay, folks, well, we're sitting here getting it cleaned up, looking a lot better, getting all the stuff out of it really good, and I'll try to oil that bearing up some, uh, pack some grease or something in there before we go to putting this gear on and getting it together. But anyway, uh, I was listening to uh, the Dillards, which uh, better known as the Darlings, and it's a shame that you can't have any background music playing or anything like that, but uh, I noticed something that I don't like. And I, I notice too many things I don't like about this machine, but I don't know that this is factory. I don't see how it could be. And not sure why it's done this way, but I'm gonna show you something. Here's the case, and here's the bolt. And here's a weld, and this is cast. And that's not nickel rod. And I'm just trying to figure out why this thing's welded down. I mean, I've never, I've never known a company to do something like that. Why this would be welded down, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, things just get stranger and stranger with this machine. I didn't see any issues with the case or busted or anything, and all the bolts are in there, so I'm not sure why they would be welded to the deck. Maybe somebody else will know or know if they're supposed to be that way. I can look at the other side and see what it looks like, I guess. Same way. Looks like it's welded to I'm not quite sure about that. Why the damn thing welded all the way around? That don't make a bit of sense to me. I don't know. Part of the weld looks really good, and then part of the weld looks like maybe, you know, it was amateur. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked at another one, so I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not, but... Who knows? All right, well, we're going to sort of forget about that. And it's been like that for a long time. As you can see, stuff's built up around it. So even if they did weld it on, whatever they did, whatever they done it, it must have worked. So let's get back at it. Okay, so here's where I'm at. The gear's up on there. I got my housing right here. It's cleaned up, ready to go. But getting it up in this hole is not a one man job. So, it really ain't a one-man job getting it out of the back of my truck and get it right here, but I got it. So, I think I will wait for Scott. He's on the way. All right, folks, this never works, but I'm going to try it anyway. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, shit. I'll keep trying. Okay, folks, so the best I can tell from people that know more about this than me is this is an early boom. The early ones didn't use a pennant. And the cables went all the way up the end, and I'm not missing anything. And that's what I was thinking. I just wanted some reassurance of that. Uh, somebody said that this boom was actually straight except for where it was bent. 
and I tend to agree with them. It is straight, except for where it's bent. All right, so we're just sort of hanging out, waiting around on Scott. Uh, water pumps on, fans on, all that good stuff. Everything's cleaned up. Uh, I noticed that this plate here, when I was cleaning it up, it was cut out with a torch. So evidently somebody lost the plate or something happened, and it's not the right plate. And instead of having short bolts in it, this is what they had in it. Bolts with nuts, and there was one missing, so I wish I'd have brought some, but I've got to go back and get some bolts for the motor mounts anyway, so, or the engine mounts, and for the radiator, so, uh, we got a hardware store that's actually closer than my hardware store, but, at my house, but my house, uh, my hardware store don't charge me nothing, so, I think that's where we'll go. Alright, so, we'll just wait around here on Scott, and then we'll get at it. So, uh, here we go, it's all in. And I've got to go, what did we forget? We forgot bolts for the motor mounts, bolts for the radiator, I'm going to put new ones in it. And let me see, we got to get, I'm going to get different bolts for that and get our gear lube in. Get the, uh, i got to get this plate on right here and get some safety wire on. And uh, I'll bring some different bolts back and stuff. We'll see if we can get this thing Finished up, water pump's on, everything's done, uh, except for the two front engine mounts and the radiator. So we'll try to get her started up here in a little bit and see if it's gonna move. All right, all right folks, getting ready to fire it up. We'll start it up and then we'll dog the clutch in. And if it comes in, then everything should start turning. We're gonna see what happens, all right. So our flex pipe on our exhaust broke apart, so we don't have really any exhaust on it. Uh, I've got one coming. But anyway, I'm going to see if it'll move. Uh, clutch is seem to be working. Everything's working. We'll just see what happens. I don't know whether I don't know whether it's set up to drive right now or if it's set up to, uh, to swing. We'll just see what happens. Maybe it won't go anywhere.
Okay, folks, running good. Everything's working like it should back this side, but I cannot figure these out. I'm going to show what's going on. Okay, I know there was some problems with this clutch. It's still stuck. It's turning it all, but it won't really engage good. It tries to, but it's not quite engaging. This one, when you do the, this will be forward and reverse, also be swing left and right. The problem is it won't do either. It's dogging down. Okay, I know this is drive. One of them's drive and one way swing. Now it could be on drive in the swing lock lock. I can't get this to turn. So I can't get the boom hoist to come out. It won't come out of gear. And when I move this one, I'm getting my rear hoist working fine. When I move this one, it tries to lock up. And as of so far, I have not got this one to move. So I don't know whether this drum's froze or what the deal is. Uh, or why it's not turning. I don't know. So I'm going to go home and study on this a little bit. We've got it running. We've got everything working like it's supposed to up here. We've just got to keep going through things and figuring out what's going on. Uh, now, we can't rule out that there was another problem and they kept trying and trying and tore that other gear up trying to get it to move. So we may be uh, peeing in the wind here. Who knows? But we're going to keep at it either way. And I'm just going to try to do a little research and we'll go from there and we'll be back on it. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye. Say bye, Scott. Later. Later. He don't know how to say bye. Bye. <laughs>